is in for Live TV headline news, broadcasting from Jerusalem, December 5th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. United States President George W. Bush will make an official visit to Israel in January, the first since he took up office seven years ago. During his visit, Bush is expected to focus on promoting Israeli-Palestinian negotiations in the framework of agreements reached last week in Annapolis. Bush visited Israel in 1998 as governor of Texas. Israel will launch a diplomatic campaign aimed at tightening sanctions against Iran in response to the U.S. claim that international pressure drove Iran to permanently freeze its nuclear program in 2003. Israeli intelligence disputes the report's conclusions, Defense Minister Barak said, adding that Israel needs to take action. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday told Iran's top nuclear negotiator, Syed Jalili, that the country's nuclear program should be transparent and remain under the control of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Minutes before meeting Jalili near Moscow, the Russian leader had a 40-minute telephone conversation with President Bush. The National Labour Court on Tuesday night approved the state's request to issue injunction orders to the striking members of the Middle and High School Teachers Association, effectively ending the 48-day strike. The back-to-work orders will go into effect on December 13th after the Hanukkah holidays. The sides will continue to negotiate an agreement. Mimi Reinhardt, the 92-year-old secretary of German industrialist Oskar Schindler, who saved lives of hundreds of Jews during Nazi Holocaust, has arrived in Israel to take up citizenship. I feel at home, Reinhardt told reporters as she got off the plane. Elsewhere on Info Live TV, Jerusalem celebrates Hanukkah. We wish you all a very happy Hanukkah. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.